things that I'm now in love with. Hello, can we talk about perfect? These are gorgeous, they're fantastic, they're great for dance, great for yoga, great for running, nice tight waistband, wearing a size 2X, um, and then the sports bra, the one that they have, I think they have another one, it's exact same cut, just different patterns, um, more of like a tribal print. Um, not getting a lot of support, not a lot of coverage here. Um, so this is definitely more of a loungy sports bra and not a let's get it done sports bra. So I think I'm going to stick to my like Victoria's Secret ones um, for the gym, but did want to try it on. Um, I didn't expect much more than this because I don't feel like Torrid and loves like the Torrid brand and Torrid companies are known for their um, activewear in particular, um, especially not for their bras just yet. I think that's probably something they're working on because um, their bras are actually really great. But this sports bra is a miss for me, but these pants give me so much life. So I am definitely walking home with these. So we've moved on to lingerie. And if you guys have gotten this far in the video with me, thank you so much. This is probably like the end of part two because we've tried on so much stuff today and I have to make this into two videos. Um, so Lovesick has a large um, range of bralettes. And I know you guys ask me a lot where I get my bralettes from. Typically they're from Torrid. Sometimes they're from Victoria's Secret, not so much. But Torrid is usually my go-to. Um, and I'm thinking Lovesick might be my go-to. Um, so I've tried on a couple more and a lot of them have been really too sheer to show on the internet. But I really did like this one because this one's got a little more coverage than the other ones and it's got a beautiful kind of racer back like halter neck style this plum color is to die for let me show you this other one i have over here i have um an olive one and then i'll show you this one here you guys if there's enough um coverage and you don't see right through it uh, i really like this one i could definitely see me getting this in like every color and just wearing it under just about everything um pro tip if you fly a lot and travel like I do and you want to wear something really comfortable and awesome on the plane, bralettes are your jam. Wearing a size one, I might be able to size down, but I don't think so. I think this is a pretty good fit. Um, and I typically wear a size like 30 double D um, bra. So you guys can kind of figure that out from there. But typically your bralette size is going to be your top size. Um, so I'm really loving this one. It's so pretty. So I was wrong. The other the first of the two olive ones actually wasn't the same as I had on. This is an actual true halter. Um, I thought it was going to be racer back like this one, but this isn't an actual legitimate halter. So this is really cool. This is so, um, I'm getting such a free people vibe from everything in here. This kind of like easy, effortless, boho, laid back, lacy, pretty um, kind of vibe that they've got in here. Very free people, which I really think is something that's missing in plus. Um, so not getting a ton of support from this, not really caring because how adorable is this? You guys, it's so cute. Coming home coming home. Yes. Yes. One more to go. And here we have the last one. It's a little risque, um, but it's underwear, so it should be. Um, I think I might size down on this one. We have a little extra space here that I'm not really crazy about, um, but really loving the plunge on this because you feel like you get the comfort, but this is definitely very um, schmexy. So yeah, this is the last bralette. This is this is a really pretty little dress. The wrap is always going to be flattering. Um, now I know people, some people want to dress to flatter, some people don't, that's fine. If you do, um, a wrap is always flattering. Anything that defines the waist is going to be good. The little tie is going to draw attention to the smallest part of your body, at your waist. Um, and then the wrap skirt is just really, really pretty. I love the kind of tulip feel we have going here. Let me show you. Let me back up a little bit. So see how we have this like pretty little thing? It actually even accentuates um, this kind of hip area. So if you're looking to create curves on your body, I think this is going to be a really great dress for you. Oh look! Another little black dress, guys. Um, this one I was actually going to pass over until one of the gals who work here, um, Ashley, said she wasn't like really looking for a dress like this, and then she kind of threw it on and fell in love with it. And I can actually really see why. Um, it's a really simple piece. It's a really great t-shirt dress. It doesn't hang and cling too much in the middle. If you saw my Charlotte Russe inside the dressing room, you know that that was an issue with one of the tank or tea dresses that I had there. It was like a tea dress. You should not need shapewear under. Um, they're made for comfort so you shouldn't have to put anything special underneath it and this one just hangs so beautifully so we get a little bit of detail here with the lace and then we have a nice length here so as Ashley and I were saying it's the kind of dress that if you drop your money you can bend over and pick it up and you're not going to worry about it too much um, for my gals who don't like to show your arms we have a nice little sleeve here it's a little sleeve it's not too terribly big personally I am all about showing my arms because 
Well, it's June and it's 114 degrees today, so um, I could tuck up the sleeves really easily and then get a nice little like tang dress effect. Um, dress it up, put a little belt, actually could be really cute on this too to get a little waist cinching here. Waist, little waist cinching action. Um, but I really like how you look put together in a dress like this without having to put too much effort into it. Okay, I'm taking a break from wearing all black to bring you guys a bomb maxi dress. This dress is so Again, with that kind of like poly spandex blend that feels like heaven and angels and feathers and stuff. This just feels really, really, really great. Um, love the fit on this. Great fit in the tank. It does come a little low here on the side, and I actually have some bralettes I'll be showing you later that would be great underneath this. Um, to show, like, that'll be okay to show on the side. Um, yeah, the fit on this is great. I'm wearing a size 2X in this one, um, and we have a little, a little leg action so that's what it looks like from the side just really curve hugging but again really comfortable it makes me feel like i just look super put together and i actually haven't even done anything um yeah and i think this with just like some flats like little sandals would be absolutely perfect quick little jump in for my babes who are all black everything kind of girls same dress all in black same a big and so the dressing room is officially over and we're moving on to denim um i am wearing a size i have a size 20 in every single piece of denim that i have in the dressing room so everything i'm trying on is in a size 20 which is my typical toward size now if you've been around for a minute you know there's nothing i love more than an ankle length ripped knee jean and this first pair hello fitting the bill hello these are actually really comfortable. They've got that same like torrid jegging stretch. I don't know what that was. Those are my little dance moves, you guys. Um, the They're pretty high rise, but they're not too terribly high rise. I feel like I have an extra bit of space right in the crotch area, which not too terribly crazy about, but willing to forgive because the fit is great. Um, let's see how much space we have here in the back. Not, not too terrible. Not too terrible. They are pretty stretchy. Um, and the tank I have on with it is um, from Lovesick, of course, and has the same fabric as my two favorite dresses that I've shown you so far. The very first one, that black maxi, or sorry, the black tank dress, the knee length one, and then of course the black maxi. So we have a tank in the same fabric and also comes in a million different colors. Let me style this up with a plaid so you can get um, kind of a 90s vibe in the styling here. So here we have it with the plaid. I just threw this little plaid around my waist. This is a size two doesn't really matter um, because it's just being thrown around the waist. So this is actually an outfit I would definitely wear out to lunch or running errands or something around town. Something that's real basic but styled up with a little more attitude with the plaid. So it's a really cute little outfit. I'm going to try on the next pair of jeans. Um, one thing I will disclose about jeans just in general, your dressing room experience is not always kind of how things work in life. Um, the concern I have with these is that they are a little big in the waist and so um, as I wear them they will stretch and I worry about if they start to fall and then they're, they're the pair of pants I constantly have to pull up. Time will tell on though so if I do buy these I will definitely check in with you guys again um, but so far I'm um, really loving these. Mm -hmm. Denim number two is happening. I have a light wash ankle or kind of cropped length busted out knee jean on. Um, these fit very differently than the last pair. Um, these are actually kind of tight. I was just talking to the manager here and she was saying like, yeah, they're going to stretch out. So I kind of don't mind that they're tight because I feel like in a couple hours, these are actually probably going to break into be my favorite jeans of life. Loving the busted out knee. And I want to talk about this cami for a second. We have a little pocket here, but this baseball tee action that's happening right here can't could this be any more flattering like are you kidding we're getting like coverage in the tummy if you want it and then a little little sexiness here on the side like that's pretty schmexy you guys um these jeans are harder but that usually means that harder jeans tend to retain retain their shape more than softer jeans so these are going to like hold you in a lot more um and when they stretch they're probably going to not to stretch as much so great little fit on these guys so there's no way in the world these aren't coming home with me. These are like my ideal jean of life. The distressing is so great on them. They're super comfortable. Um, the rise is nice and high, maybe even a little too high. We do have a little like spacage right here, which I don't particularly care for, but forgiven, forgiven, forgiven because they are so ridiculously comfortable. Um, great ankle length 
which is perfect. So like you guys know I'm 5'6". Um, and so with a heel, this is going to be great. And if you are taller, this is going to be kind of like an ankle length on you. And that's actually going to be really hot because with the distressing, it's going to be schmexy as hell. Um, also want to talk about the camis. Um, I've been trying on different tanks every time. I try on a different pair of jeans as you guys have seen, obviously. Loving this gray one. We're getting a lot of like flowiness, but we're still getting a good fit in the shoulder. You guys have heard me talk about this before. I'm all about if it fits in the shoulder. Pretty much anything else can be happening and you're good. So um, great fit in the shoulder, nice drape we're having here. And then I'm gonna flip around and show you um, so many of these lovesick, lovesick tanks have really cool back detail. So we have a ton of like beautiful crisscrossy straps in the back. So, so pretty you guys, so pretty. I could see myself wearing this on the weekend or days where I just like am working from home editing. This is just like a great little, great outfit. And these jeans I really think could dress up quite nicely. So summer is here and I really wanted to spend some time trying on shorts for you guys so you had a good idea of what we had available here at Lovesick. Um, this is my first pair, I'm really loving these. Um, we are getting a little snugness here, but as most things, they will stretch out. We have a nice good length here, so for my gals who don't like a booty short, um, these are really, really good length, nice conservative, but you're still getting the ribs, so we still have more of like a modern vibe to them. Um, I tucked in the shirt so you guys can see kind of what's going on here and what you're gonna get, because that's what this is about, right? What is it gonna look on someone that looks like you? Um, I really like these a lot. Um, trying on an ACDC graphic tee. You know, I love my 80s music. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I apologize for how much 80s music I sing, but you know I love it. So the ACDC is like, speaks to my soul. Um, so one of the things to know about Lovesick is that they don't just carry their own in-house stuff. They actually carry a couple of other brands. Um, one of them being YMI, which I believe is also carried at Shellers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this is why it's important to try everything on. So this is the same size as the last pair and they are considerably bigger. Um, so try stuff on, try stuff on, try stuff on, try on different sizes, super important to know. So we think because they're a little big, I, the overall effect is a little more sloppy and a little less like put together than I'd like. Um, and because they're big, when you do walk, that's what's going to cause like a lot of the rise. It's either gonna be too small, too big, or just thighs are doing what thighs do, but um, I'm not too terribly crazy about these. They are the wanna better butt jeans um and i'm gonna turn around and we're gonna talk about my butt so here's what the back of the jeans look like and i don't know i don't know that that i feel like my butt looks exceptionally delightful in these jeans these jean shorts i think it's i mean they're definitely it looks juicy and peachy I don't like talking about my butt like this. I think it's really weird. Um, but they talk about butt, so I think it's interesting that the fabric, I know it's because of the lighting, but the way the fabric's so much lighter here and then darker on the bottom kind of puts emphasis on the butt. So if you do have a tiny butt and you want it to look bigger, I'm thinking these are your, your jean shorts. 